A bench grinder is a must-have tool, so the question is, is that $90 bench grinder just as good as the one that cost over $500? Well, let's find out. In the first test, we'll see which electric motors fail the electric motor lie detector test. Then we'll see which grinder makes the most torque. Finally, we'll see which one offers the best eye protection. At a budget price at only $88, the least expensive brand we'll be testing is made by Wynn. All the bench grinders we'll be testing are designed for 8-inch wheels. It claims to have a quiet 4.8 amp motor. The Wynn has two LED lights that use AAA batteries. The LED light doesn't offer too much brightness. Onboard coolant tray serves as a quenching pot for work pieces. Installing the tool rest and shields only takes a few minutes. The tool rest and debris shields are adjustable. The Wynn is made in China. Later on in the video, we'll compare the quality of the tool rest, the spark, and the debris shields. And the Wynn weighs 29.45 pounds. They claim their motor offers quick startups. The Wynn claims to offer quick startups and it takes 8.4 seconds to reach full operating RPM. And the wind is at 3,583 RPM. And the wind doesn't make too much noise at only 65.6 decibels. And it takes 2 minutes and 20 seconds for the wheel to come to a stop. At a price of $90 or just $2 more than the Win is this Performance Tool brand. And a Performance Tool bench grinding wheel is pretty loose. Unfortunately, the packaging just didn't do a very good job of protecting the grinder. The Performance Tool does not include a light. It includes a 36 and a 60 grit wheel. The Performance Tool is made in China. It includes a 3 quarter horsepower motor. 3,450 RPM. The build quality and the way the debris shield is mounted on the Performance Tool just isn't nearly as durable as the Win. And the tool holder can be moved in or out as the wheel wears away, but it's just not as well built as the Win. It does come with dual shields, but I'm going to leave one off since it's missing a screw. The performance tool is very light at only 23.75 pounds. A bench grinder that takes a long time to get up to speed can really delay progress. And the wind takes 8.4 seconds to reach full operating RPM, but the performance tool takes about two and a half times as long. 19.8 seconds. 3,559 RPM is almost fast as the wind. 83.7 decibels is a lot louder than the wind. And it takes two minutes and 23 seconds for the grinding wheel to come to a stop. At a price of $100 is this Bauer brand, which is sold at Harbor Freight. And a Bauer bench grinder is very well padded to avoid damage during transport. 4.8 amp, 3 quarter horsepower motor. 3600 no load RPM. They claim that their motor won't bog down. It includes dual spark shields to protect against flying debris. Compared to the performance tool, spending the extra $10 on the Bauer does buy a much higher quality tool rest and eye guard made in China. And the Bauer is the heaviest yet at almost 35 pounds. And the Bauer gets up to speed and it's ready to go to work the fastest yet in only 7.8 seconds. 3,577 RPM is about the same as the wind. 74.9 decibels is relatively quiet. The grinding wheels come to a stop the fastest yet in a minute and 48 seconds. At a price of $140 is this Hercules brand, which is also sold at Harbor Freight. The Bauer had a three-quarter horse electric motor and the Hercules has a 0.9. Variable speed range from 2,000 to 3,400 RPM. Heavy duty cast iron base reduces vibration and improves stability during use. The work rest on the Hercules look very close to the same as the Bauer. The spark shields and the tool holders also look very close to the same. The Hercules is made in China, and the Hercules is the heaviest yet at 40.5 pounds. The Hercules cost about $40 more than the Bauer, and it also takes 3 seconds longer than the Bauer to get up to speed. The variable speed is from around 2100 RPM to just over 3500. 74.3 decibels is very close to the same as the Bauer. And Hercules needs a minute and 22 seconds for the wheel to come to a stop, which is the fastest yet. At a price of $150 is this Skill brand. It includes a 3 amp hour motor, built in water cooling tray and LED work light. One of the two shields is magnified and the Skill is made in China. Adjustable v groove tool rest. The tool rests are adjustable. While the tool rest on the Skill moves in and out, the angle cannot be adjusted like the Bauer and the Hercules. And the Skill is pretty light at 26.25 pounds. And the Skill gets up to full operating speed and right at 10 seconds to move into third place behind the Bauer. 3,570 no load RPM. 73.9 decibels is about the same as the Hercules. 80 seconds to come to a complete stop is the fastest yet. At a price of $229 is this Delta brand. The Delta tools did not come with a light bulb. The built-in light includes an on and off switch that can handle up to a 40 watt light bulb. I used a 12 watt LED light and it's by far the brightest yet, but you can choose a less powerful light bulb. It includes eye shields, removable water tray, and wheel dressing tool. Variable speeds from 2,000 to 3,400 RPM. The Delta has a five amp induction motor. The Delta is made in China. And the Delta weighs 40.27 pounds. And the Delta is the fastest at getting ready to go to work yet, very close to 7 seconds to take the lead from the Bauer. The variable speed RPM ranges from 2100 to just over 3400. It's a little quieter than the Bauer, 72.5 decibels. The Delta also comes to a stop the fastest yet in only 48 seconds. 
At a price of $250 is this ShopFox brand. Three-quarter horsepower, variable speed induction motor. Variable speeds include 2,000 to 3,400 RPM. Includes dual adjustable aluminum work rest. The ice shield and the tool holder look about the same as the Bauer and the Hercules. And the ShopFox weighs 40.61 pounds. And the Shop Fox isn't quite as fast as the Delta at getting to work, but it's still pretty fast at 8.1 seconds. And the variable speed range is from around 2,160 RPM to just over 3,580. 77.3 decibels is a little louder than most of the other brands. The Shop Fox does come to a stop faster than the Bauer in a minute and 34 seconds. At a price of $260 is this Rikon brand. The Rikon comes with a 60 grit wheel and a wire wheel. The Rikon has a three quarter horsepower variable speed motor that produces 2,000 to 3,400 RPM. Cast iron base with rubber feet to reduce vibration. And the Rikon has a pretty bright LED light, but it can be replaced with a standard size bulb if more light is needed. The built in water tray seems like a pretty nice feature. The Rikon is made in China. And the Rikon weighs 38.27 pounds. And the lightweight wire wheel really helped the Rikon get up to speed very fast in only 5.1 seconds, the fastest time yet. The variable speed RPM ranges from just under 2,100 to just over 3,500. And the wire wheel is making things pretty noisy at 76.1 decibels. It also came to a stop the fastest yet in only 44 seconds. At a price of $528 is this Jet brand. One horsepower heavy duty capacitor motor. Sealed bearings for maintenance free grinding. And the Jet has a 5.5 amp 3600 RPM motor. On off toggle switch with safety key prevents accidental startup. The tool rest does adjust in and out but the angle cannot be changed. However, the tool rest is much heavier built and seems far more durable than the other brands. The Jet does not come with the work light. Single dust chute hose delivers dependable collection. The Jet grinder is made in Taiwan. And the Jet's by far the heaviest shed at almost 63 pounds. And the Jet is up to speed in only two seconds flat, which is by far the fastest yet. Very impressive. 3,591 mil load RPM is the most yet. 72.8 decibels is a little less noise than most of the other brands. Once the Jet gets going, it doesn't want to stop working and takes around 90 seconds to come to a stop. Weight is sometimes a good indicator of build quality and a performance tool is the lightest at 23.75 pounds. Skill weighs 26.25 and wind 29.45 pounds. And the grinder that gets up to full speed the fastest is a jet in only two seconds. Rikon finished in second in 5.1 seconds, Delta 7 and Bauer 7.87 seconds. I put together this next tester to measure the working torque or how much force it takes to stall the electric motor. I'll apply a slow controlled downward force until the grinding wheel comes to a stop. If you're using some force when pressing a piece of metal up against the grinding wheel, the loss of momentum or the motor coming to a stop really slows down progress. And the wind was barely holding on at 9 pounds of force and began losing momentum and finally stalled at 10 pounds. With a name like Performance Tools, I had big hopes for this bench grinder which is rated for 3 quarter horsepower just like the wind. Unfortunately, the Performance Tool really began to struggle at only 3 pounds. And the Performance Tool gave up at 4 pounds or 6 pounds less than the wind. Definitely not performing like a 3 quarter horsepower motor. Just like the wind, the bow was holding its own at 9 pounds but really began to struggle struggle at 10. And the Bauer began running out of steam and finally stalled at 10 pounds, the same as the wind. The Bauer is rated for 3 quarter horsepower and the Hercules is rated at 0.9. And the Hercules is able to handle about one additional pound of force and finally stalled at 11 pounds. And the skill cost around $10 more than the Hercules, but the electric motor is only rated for 3 amps. And the skill is really struggling, but not quite as bad as the performance tool. And the skill ran out of steam at 5 pounds or 1 pound more than the performance tool. And the Delta is rated for three quarter horsepower just like the Bauer. And the Delta is performing a lot like the Hercules and 11 pounds is just a little too much. And the Shop Fox not only looks like the Hercules, it also performs like it. And the Shop Fox held its own at 10 pounds, but 11 pounds was a little too much. So the Hercules, Delta and Shop Fox are tied for the lead at 11 pounds. And the Rikon is also rated for three quarter horsepower just like the Bauer, Delta and Shop Fox. And the Rikon performed just as well as the Hercules, Delta and Shop Fox at 11 pounds. The Hercules is rated for 0.9 horsepower and the Jet is rated for one horsepower. So by the numbers, the Jet should run out of steam at well under 20 pounds. And the Jet totally destroyed the competition, finally giving up at a very impressive 60 pounds. So the Jet came in on top at 60 pounds. The Hercules, Delta, Shop Fox, and Rikon finished in a four-way tie for second place at 11. I built an electric motor lie detector tester. All but one electric motor is rated for at least three-quarter horsepower. And the alternator is connected to a fully charged car battery. The car battery is connected to a power inverter, and a fan speed controller is attached to the power inverter. And the light is connected to the fan speed controller. This will allow the grinders to maintain their horsepower rating throughout the entire test. I'll use a power drill to help the grinders get up to speed since bench grinders don't have too much starting torque. The test will last right at 15 minutes. And the wind is off to a good start and is running at a little over 570 watts or very close to 4.8 amps. 746 watts is very close to one horsepower. So the wind is operating very close to its three quarter horsepower capacity. It's been right at 10 minutes and the wind is very close to 112 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's been right at 15 minutes and the wind is now at 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go and test the maximum watts for the wind.
When it comes to a short burst of torque, the wind held its own until 1100 watts. Just like the wind, the performance tool is rated for three quarter horsepower. And the wind really struggled on the max torque test and it really struggled in this test too. Unfortunately, the performance tool just doesn't make enough torque to pass the electric tool lie detector test. The Bauer is off to a great start, and the Bauer is handling the three-quarter horsepower load just fine. At 10 minutes, the Bauer is at 120 degrees. At 15 minutes, it's the same temperature as the wind at 130 degrees. And the Bauer ran out of steam at 1,150 watts, or about 50 watts more than the wind. And the Hercules got off to a very easy start. The Hercules is rated for 0.9 horsepower and is handling the load just fine. At 10 minutes, the Hercules is at around 103 degrees. It's been right at 15 minutes and the Hercules is at 125 degrees or 5 degrees cooler than the Bauer. And the Hercules performed even better than the Bauer, making it to 1,250 watts before giving up. So the Hercules definitely passed the test. And the Skill has a 3 amp hour motor, which is very close to a half horsepower rating. Even with the lower rating, the Skill successfully started the test. Since the Skill is rated for a half horsepower, I'll go ahead and test the Skill in a range between 340 and 360 watts. After 15 minutes, the Skill is only at 110 degrees. And the Skill made it to around 700 watts before running out of steam. The Skill has a 3 amp hour rating, and it definitely passed the test. Just like the Hercules, the Delta is off to a really easy start. And the Delta is handling the three quarter horsepower load very well and the motor temperature is close to 100 degrees at 10 minutes. And at 15 minutes, the Delta is the coolest yet at 117 degrees on the hottest part of the motor. And the Delta seems to be making the same amount of power as the Hercules at around 1,250 watts. And the Shop Fox is off to a great start on the electric motor lie detector test. At 10 minutes, the Shop Fox is only at 92 degrees. So the Shop Fox is running the coolest yet. At 15 minutes, it's the coolest yet at only 106 degrees or 11 degrees cooler than the Delta. It's also 24 degrees cooler than the Hercules. And the Shop Fox held on the longest and finally gave up at 1,325 watts. And the Rikon is off to a great start just like the Shop Fox. At 10 minutes into the test, the Rikon is at 105 degrees Fahrenheit or very close to the same as the Shop Fox. At 15 minutes, the Rikon is about the same as the Delta at 116 degrees. And the Rikon performed about the same as the Hercules and Delta at 1,250 watts before it stalled. And the jet doesn't need any help from the drill to get started. And the grinder is rated for one horsepower and it's making just about one horsepower. At 10 minutes into the test, the jet is only at 95 degrees with a one horsepower load. At 15 minutes into the test, it's running the coolest yet at 106 degrees. So even with the bigger load, the jet is running the coolest yet. And the grinder is making a ton of torque and the watt meter is maxed out. So around 1800 watts and the jet is finished. So all the bench grinders pass this test except for the Performance Tool brand. The Shop Fox and the Jet ran the coolest at 106 degrees. However, the Jet ran at one horsepower compared to three quarter horsepower for the Shop Fox. The Rikon and Delta also performed very well at 116 and 117 degrees respectively. The bench grinder that delivers the most power is the Jet at around 1800 watts. The Shop Fox finished in second at around 1325. Hercules, Delta, and Rikon, 1250 watts. Most protective eyewear is made of polycarbonate which is designed to prevent shattering. So it seems a appropriate that ice shields on bench grinders would be able to withstand an impact. All the ice shields were impacted with a steel ball. And most of the brand's ACES test, however, the Performance Tool ice shield broke as did the Jet. A quick subjective comparison on the build quality of each of the grinders going from the poorest quality to the best. In my opinion, the Performance Tool makes the poorest quality tool rest and ice shield setup. While the tool rest is held in position by two bolts, the tool rest is very flimsy and the angle is fixed. Unfortunately, the ice shield is only held in by one bolt and is very prone to coming loose. Also, the ice shield is very fragile. The wind seems to have a better build quality than the Performance Tool. However, the tool wrist is fastened to the grinder by a single 3 16 inch screw and a hand knob. There's also a metal dowel to hold it in position, but this is a very light duty setup. The skill definitely seems better than the wind. It also uses a very light duty setup with a single hand knob fastening the tool rest to the grinder. However, the ice shield setup seems better than the performance tool, but not quite as good as some of the other brands. The Delta's build quality seems about the same as the skills. It also has a very light duty setup with a single hand knob fastening the tool rest to the grinder. However, the tool rest angle is adjustable and the skills is not. If you're looking for a build quality that's even better than the Delta and the Skill, there are several options. The ice shields and the tool rests look very close to the same for the Bauer, Hercules, Shop Fox, and Rikon. For each of those brands, the tool rests are fastened with two bolts and a hand knob is used to adjust the angle. These four brands use the best setup so far. The Jet makes by far the most durable setup in the lineup. 
The tool rest is more durable than the front bumper on a 1965 Chevy Impala. It's bolted onto a cast iron guard by 3 8 inch bolts. The metal frame holding the ice shield in place is very well built, but the ice shield might crack if it gets hit. Making a replacement ice shield out of polycarbonate is a very quick and easy task. Let's test the quality of the grinding wheels next using 4 inch screws. I'll press the screw into the wheel and then we'll measure the wear or the carve out after two screws. And the wind made very easy work of grinding the two screws without the motor bogging down. Grinding wheel friability is the ability of the grinding wheel grains to break down and expose sharp edges. This helps increase the material removal rate. The wind wheel is still in very good condition. The groove on the grinding wheel of the wind is 0.005 inches. So the wind is not very friable. The Performance Tool brand needed quite a bit longer to finish the job and the motor stalled a couple of times under light pressure. And the screw cut a very deep groove into the wheel. 0.09 inches is pretty deep and the Performance Tool wheel seems far too friable. And the Bauer is doing a much better job than the previous two brands at protecting me from filings and abrasive wheel dust. 0.061 inches is pretty deep but much better than the Performance Tool. Just like the Bauer, the Hercules is doing a great job of protecting me from the metal filings. And the Hercules abrasive wheel held up much better than the Bauer's at 0.0045 inches, which is the least amount of wear yet. Even though the skill is only rated for 3 amps, no issues with the motor stalling like the performance tools. 0.005 inches is very close to the same as the Hercules. The light duty tool rest came loose on the Delta during use. This is definitely a design that could use improvement. The groove is 0.042 inches deep. The Shop Fox tool rest is very well secured and stayed in place during the entire test. And the Shop Fox performed about the same as the Delta at 0.042 inches. Just like the Shop Fox, the Rikon tool rest stayed in place during the test. 0.024 inches is less wear than the Delta and the Shop Fox. And the Jet tool rest is very heavy duty and stays very still during use. And the groove is 0.018 inches in depth. When it comes to wheel wear, wheels that wear away faster typically cut faster. So some wear is a good feature to achieve high productivity, but too much wear could be an indication of a poor quality abrasive wheel. Leaving out the subjective categories, the Jet is by far the best performing bench grinder finishing in first place in every test, but it is very large and expensive. Shot Fox did well with an average finish of 1.7 and Rikon 2.3. If we include the subjective assessment on build quality, the Jet still came out on top. At half the price of the Jet, the Shot Fox did well with an average finish of 1.7. 2.8, Rikon 2.3, and Delta and Hercules 2.8. The nice thing about saying no to every sponsorship and every free item is that you can always get to the bottom of the truth really quickly when you don't have sponsors to please. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.